those moments when law officers have to run toward the gunfire instead of away from it. Tonight, Las Vegas police also talked about one of the victims, one of their own. Off-duty officer Charleston Hartfield is among those killed. And as it turns out, that officer's family is from Metro Detroit. Germont Terry caught up with his brother, who is grieving but upset at the same time. Germont? Kimberly, like so many people, to Ron Hartfield woke up Monday morning and learned about the shooting in Vegas. But I can tell you that he, like so many people, he feared that his phone would not ring. And when it did, his worst fear became a reality, and now the nation mourns with him. Wow, that's tough. With a heavy heart. That is my absolute hero. Tyrone Hartfield mourns his brother. I am just in pain, in pain all over. Charleston Hartfield attended the concert in Vegas with his wife, Veronica. When the gunman opened fire, the couple quickly rushed to safety. He took his wife and, 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 and got her to safety. And being, you know, the warrior that he truly was, he went back out to help other people. But when the Las Vegas officer and former Army veteran went back into the line of fire, the bullet spraying down onto the crowd pierced him. His wife tried to drag him back to safety. She couldn't. He pushed her away because he knew he was going. He told her, I'm dying. Pushed her to safety. Tyrone wishes he had more time with his brother. I felt it was my job to bring the family together, and I'm going to keep us together. In fact, Charleston and Tyrone don't have images together because at the start of this year, they discovered they were brothers. They were just making up for the lost decades. The two families were meeting up soon. Unfortunately, uh, we were definitely all meet. Um, for a funeral. And while so many have opinions about this massacre, there is nothing wrong with being upset. Tyrone expresses his thoughts on the gunman. I can't forgive this. This is staged. This was planned. He hopes his brother's death brings about true change in gun control. So many guns. So many rounds fired. And so many questions still left tonight. Now, Charleston's wife, as we mentioned, survived that shooting. He leaves behind two teenage uh, children. Now, I should point out that Tyrone tells me that even though he and his brother just started to know each other and started talking eight months ago, they developed a very strong bond. And often, they will talk about current events. Unfortunately, his brother is not around to talk about this tragic story. Reporting live tonight, Jermont Terry, Local 4. Just heartbreak. One turn of events. It really is, yeah. but it really speaks to the type of person he was going back to help, you no know, those who needed yeah. it. Yeah, I'm so sorry. All right, Jermont. Yes.